Prepare for battle. <gasps> Didn't see that coming, did you? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Told you a storm was coming. You can run. <laughs> you should run. You should run. Appreciate it. I sense a connection Let's between us. Thirty it. seconds to battle. Ah! <laughs> Except my brain is much larger. Looking for me? Looking for me? The battle begins. First blood. First blood. And that is how we do things in the You dark. are dead. <laughs> dead. The Rolling Stone would make a great story for you if you were going to live. Are fortified. Target unknown. The sword of the last is Dyer's top tower is under attack. <laughs> Radiant's <laughs> middle tower is under Dyer's attack. Dyer's top tower has fallen. <laughs> Radiant's middle tower has fallen. Radiant are scanning. Radiant's 
Bottom tower is under attack. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Toss back. Catch Arme here. Say word throws the hammer at him. Way at the bristle back who is stacking up some cool sprays, but I don't know if he can escape from this. Even with stick charge he's dead. goes, he's gonna die here for the shield and a few hits out from Panda and Matthew. And another first blood for Matthew. Right, the, the quills are, are annoying. Okay, a loose gonna get about to trade. Viper just had got level three. And on the top lane, you have Ame, who's completely free farming. So, not contested at all. Why? Or is sacred to TP out? He TP'd back the tier 1 tower. No mana, half HP. Clarity and Tango's going, but Matthew down bottom with another toss into the tower. Faith Beyond just stacks up the poison. Radiant's curry has been killed. <laughs> Start reconsidering how this lane is going and where they're going to be putting these heroes. Now is the time for Matthew to TP top and help his Dawnbreaker. No. An opening here. Firefly is available. Two double six on the Ember Spirit. He stacks with that Napalm on him, gets the Flame Guard off with a toss across into the river. Nothing to say, but a good two man chains. Oh, he holds them back. The Napalm's going to keep on coming. Firefly and the Flame Break missing. Still be able to grab this kill though, there's nothing to say. Well. Tracked back by Alone and Matthew. Good rotation from the Tiny. Where Arme's playing now. Depth, clearing out these juicy, juicy stats. Chen is made for it. Alone though, gonna get changed up and LGD responding. I don't want to give this up for free, nothing to say. With the help of Faith Beyond. They are chasing back on the Batrider and Matthew just dying to the Bristleback. A lone Firefly has run out. He's got nine stick charges here, but Arme and Faith Beyond slowing him down to a crawl. Batrider saved by the Abaddon, but in comes the Snowball. And a Solar Garden, going to heal onto a lone. Stacking up a lot of damage onto the Bristleback. And Sacred, he lands the hammer. Starbreaker on GQ, but he'll die, saving his buddy. One hero drops, GQ gone, but ye. Chen survives while the dive no keeps mana. on going. Poor shield needs five more mana. Alone, he just keeps getting these stick uses out. Faith Bian and Arme, they're dropping pretty low. No Fireflies gonna be ready again. Us. The Luna's rotated in. Thunder bring the numbers. A double kill for the Luna. 
almost a full team wipe eight minutes into the game. They're so slowed by every single spell on their side. He'll get oh! It. The remnant to finish him. Nothing to say. He turns it back on. A double kill for him now. But with the avalanche toss, the loosened beam, there's no escape for this Ember Spirit. Away, bad, uh, sorry, a bad and needs uh, more levels, potentially a toss back, and the turnaround play from Dawnbreaker on me, as you see here. Yeah, but the hand of God, maybe a bit of damage and tankiness from Ame, not enough to allow him to survive. Uh, question, do you think Ame buys middle tower is under attack. casual cloak right now? Because there's a lot of magical damage coming out from Thunder Awaken. I mean, we've seen that Vanguard hood build, right? And it's wide, just cleared through. A load for the air towards you, kid. Get punched around and slowed down by the poison attacks, but they toss your Q back into the middle of three of them. And comes nothing to say though, the Ember Spirit able to open up on the Dawnbreaker, chase back through the trees, and hunt even more. Alone does pick up a double kill, but Thunder are gonna lose three in the trade-off there. Four minutes, so if they wanna put a little bit more pressure out on the map and on the FDLTD, I think it's time to go now. That's gonna be one of the scariest things. LGD is a five-man unit, smoked up, roaming up top, they've killed Sacred, Hando gets his ult down, but even the Hand of God keeps him alive. They have taken down Faith Beyond though, with this Eclipse, Hakaz sprints forward towards him, Q, TP cancelled, comes in time with the lasso. Alone helps Hakaz pick up a double kill, and Thunder with that buyback on Sacred, they do win a team fight. It was incredibly scary just watching LGD five-man smoke towards them. Without the bristle back there, unable to sustain this extended team fight with the buyback of the door. Let's not go for a Roche right now because there is no Eclipse, even though the BKP is online, so they can't wait. Fortified. Eclipse is a big chunk of damage. Oh, they what waited him on Remnant. Found nothing to say. <laughs> All right, where are the tips at? What lesson is that? Dire structures are fortified. 2k net worth lead for them. Toss back onto an illusion. Done by Matthew. And now the follow through from Pakan. Looks to get another kill to add to his list. Okay, grabs it though. Q will shard block and run back. Lead or Their decision making in the mid and late game is way too good. Save, but the snowball save and back on the Pakans, dropping him low. Slide of fifth with the minus armor. Nothing to say. Getting stunned, but he's got the remnant back across the river. Can't kill Arme either. One hit takes about a third of the health of the abandoned. As Pakans drives the battle back, EKP's defensively to run. You can see the physical damage out of Arme coming in hot now. Sacred TP is home. EKP is wasted by Thunder. And LGD have herded them. The sheep back to their base. The smoke. The first kill here on the bristle back. But the damage into Matthew. The hand of God comes, but Q still falls. He went in trying to snowball save. Side from LGD he comes in behind tier three. Pakas. He's able to stand there and launch the glaives in towards army. The bristle back, maybe a little bit too deep now. Stunder split them. They've gone into the back line. Saving face beyond with the firefly there. And Arme dead inside the eclipse. Oh, LGD going a step too far and Thunder. Army. Too far away from feeling good about this now. Faith Beyond gonna get found on the defense of the high ground. <laughs> Don't underestimate Thunder with their defense. <laughs> the Hand of God's there, and now Pakar's in trouble. Penitence there, he's gonna eclipse BKB. Kills up in Q. He dead to this Pakar's Lunar as well. He's 1v4ing and almost winning. Dawnbreak is coming with a Solar Guardian. BKB TP not successful. Arme oh, offering far too much damage and Thunder. Well, oh, they've been baited in by their Lunar. They should have not helped him out. He did manage to get out the super tanky double kill, and now they can't fight the inside the road pit. This is gonna be Aegis plus a shard. Bristleback will be picking up both. Fabian did buy a shard for himself, which means that there's gonna be a ton of damage on the buildings. And next big timing for PSG LGD is finishing off AC play, on Bristleback. Play, Even more minus play. armor, plus the goo, plus Deso, and Orb of Corrosion. I'm not sure how you survive that. Like the AOE, the, the chaos that's gonna be happening in frontline yeah. is is nuts. Viper also just finished full Scotty, I believe. So that's gonna be extra slow. Viper, whenever he has high attack speed, he looks so funny. Flapping the wing, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Like a little humming Oh, he's level 14. 
Oh, no. <laughs> oh, Chen. Oh, he tossed back last so bad. It's going to be a soft drag of the fountain. And Arme is BKB on. Uh, move towards Matthew. Couple of taps. Breaks apart from Rob. Shin Yu on his way back as well. The barracks wide open and focused down by LGD. Alone pips Y immediately. And I'm not sure if he was aware of this one. He's like, what the hell is going on? Where is my lasso? Then he figures out there is Aghanim Scepter on Chen. But Y didn't show any items on his chin, so wanted to have this surprise effect. And Luna dies. This, this means game. No, no buybacks. No buybacks at all. And even if they had the hope of staying in the tournament, 